today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete the KO Perico heist with no issues, no problems, and earn 2.2 million dollars on your first try before we start here here are the timestamps just in case you want to check them out and check different parts of the video so here you go let's get into the video so if you have never done this before what you're first going to want to do is go up to this green h with a palm tree on it and this will eventually make it so you can unlock and buy the Kasatka submarine. So you want to make sure to do this if you have not already. Once you've interacted with this green H here, it's going to tell you that you can go to the Diamond Casino and go to the Music Locker, which is where Miguel Madrazo is. And he will basically tell you that he's going to need a little bit of help with Keo Perico. And he basically tells you that you need the Kasatka submarine in order to start these missions up. Once you get in there and pay for your entry fee, this cutscene will play and once this cutscene is over and if you have not already you're gonna need 2.2 million just because the cassette cut is very expensive so once you're done with that cutscene you're gonna want to go to your phone go to internet then travel and transport then go to war stock and then it should be right at the top right at this spot you can choose your color flag whatever you want to do to customize it and then once you have bought the cassette cut you're going to want to go to your interactions menu go to service vehicles and summon the cassette cut but i recommend you go to the airport and summon it because sometimes there will be helicopters which you can steal and then fly and land on top of the cassette cut submarine and it'll just make it way easier for our setups and actually getting to the submarine and you want to just try to make this helicopter last as long as possible once you have gotten to your Kasatka, which whatever way you did it's fine you basically just want to go inside and then this cutscene will play where your new partner slash helper named Pavel it will tell you everything about the submarine and basically that you're his captain and then after that you can start up these setups so in order to start the first setup you're going to go to this green H inside your submarine click right on the d-pad and we're going to do this mission called gather intel this mission basically you'll go to the airport fly over to Keo Perico island and scope out everything you need to do like the primary target is the madrazo files you'll find out where those are and you'll also find out where some of the secondary targets are which you can earn a lot of extra cash doing those during the actual heist so you want to make sure you follow along exactly with what i do once you get to the airport this cutscene will play and eventually you'll just fly over to Keo perico the cutscene will end and then you just have to drive el rubio and dave to the beach party which this is not hard at all so hopefully you have no issue doing this once you have arrived the cutscene will play and once it ends you have to wait for Pavel to call you and tell you that you can escape through this certain gate here and once you exit through this gate you're gonna want to follow what I do just the south gate right here without being spotted by the guards so you're gonna want to head over here and just kind of hug this wall the whole time I'm gonna try to do as little cuts as possible by the way and once you get over to this fence you're gonna want to wait for this guard to turn around just like that and then eventually you can go through this fence here and then go to the right Right, and just make sure not to get caught by any cameras and you can turn left and head over to this ATV here and what you're going to do is follow this route where you basically just kind of turn around and sneak past this camera and basically just getting away from the roads so the objective here is to get to El Rubio's compound so you're going to drive there once you get to El Rubio's compound you don't need to go all the way over to the gate of El Rubio's compound you're just going to want to kind of get close enough to it to where it tells you you can stop and look at it once you have a long look at it the game will basically tell you to go over and find this communications tower you can use a vehicle but mine got flipped over and i had to go on foot honestly going on foot might be a little easier to avoid guards but anyway you'll go over to there doesn't matter how you get there just don't get spotted i'm pretty sure once you get there there will be one or two guards and once you get over there you want to wait for the guards to not be looking towards you and then you can go over climb the ladder eventually finding the signal box and then you can hack the signal box to access the security cameras once you have done that you're going to want to pull out your phone and then access the security cameras this little mini cutscene will play but it will not matter you don't really have to pay attention to it once you have access to free roam the security cameras you're gonna want to cycle through them and go left to right or right to left all the way in order to find the madrazo files and some secondary targets I just barely found the madrazo files once you are done with that once you're done scoping out the security cameras 
you're gonna wanna go and head over to the North Docks. Once you've headed to the North Dock, you're gonna wanna scope the area out and you're gonna take a picture of this waterway, which kind of sucks because we're not gonna be using this entry point anyway, but you're gonna take a picture of it and send it to Pavel. After that, you also wanna find some warehouses nearby to take pictures of secondary targets, which kind of also sucks because we will not be using these secondary targets either. After that has finished, you're gonna go to this yellow area slash radius and find the bolt cutters. Once you find the bolt cutters, you're gonna wanna take a picture of them and send it to Pavel. And then after you have taken a picture of the bolt cutters, you're gonna wanna steal this dinghy right here and drive outside of the dock here and out to the ocean. And then from that point, you'll pretty much be safe from any guards. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go all the way around. I'm gonna have a couple things we need to do. It doesn't matter which one you do first or second or third, but you're gonna wanna go to these airstrips. This is just how I did it. You wanna drive all the way around the island and drive over to these airstrips here. And once you have done that, you wanna park your boat just kind of wherever. It doesn't really matter. You wanna get over to this hangar with big red doors on it. And then once you have done that, you wanna go over to this cage here and take a picture of this green stuff. And these are the secondary targets. And once you've taken a picture of these, you wanna head over here and climb on top of this box and then over this railing. Then you can go over to this cage and take a picture of these secondary targets. Next thing we're gonna do is head out of there. Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna head back over to your dinghy and then mark this area on your map. And this will be actually our main entry point once we start up the Keoprico Heist. It'll be the main part where we start out. We're not technically gonna be using it, but you're definitely gonna wanna take a picture of it in order to be on that side of the island once we start, because it will be the most efficient part. Once you take a picture of the main dock, you're gonna send it to Pavel and then you should be good. Now the next and final thing we are going to do is the drain gutter and it's pretty easy actually. It doesn't matter where you are, but you're gonna wanna mark this part on the island right here. And this will basically be where we're going to enter the compound. And so what you're gonna do is just drive over there. Once you drive over there, you're gonna hop outside of your boat and into the water and then dive underwater. And once it says you scoped out the drainage tunnel, which will be right here, you're basically done with this gather intel mission. You can basically just finish the mission up, drive back to the airstrips and leave the island. Now, once you get back to your Kasatka, we're gonna start the very first setup. Now the very first setup we're gonna want to do is when you go into your Kasatka and go to the green H, you're gonna go to instead of Intel at the top left, you're gonna go to prep and then you can go to approach vehicles. We're gonna want to do the one that says boat called the long fin. And once you've started that up, you're going to want to head outside of your Kasatka, but you want to get back to Los Santos and go to the Vinewood police station. Fortunately, I was able to find a helicopter. Once you're on your way to the Vinewood police station, Pavel will tell you that there is a couple of truck cabs you can collect. There will be an area with two of them and an area with one of them. The area with two of them are normal truck cabs. They're not armored or anything. I would recommend you go to the one with only one truck cab. Even though the area with one truck cab is heavily guarded, they're pretty easy to take out. And also the truck cab has a giant spike ramp thing at the front of it, which will make it way easier to escape the police and steal the long fin. So you're gonna wanna land here, drive there, whatever you do, and basically take out these guards. I got onto a roof because it's way easier to do that, in my opinion. So you just wanna do headshots or, you know, just take them out however you want, really. There's only a few of them and they're pretty easy to take out. So once you have taken them out, you wanna steal this truck cab here and head over to the Vinewood police station. Then you're gonna back your truck cab to wherever the police station is and steal the long fin. It's on this trailer here. And instead of trying to just outrun the police, police all time what I'm actually gonna want you to do is get out when you're in a safe spot well technically safe and then you want to get out and then blow yourself up now this seems like a dumb idea but it's actually not it's gonna make it so you can escape the police way faster this is the fastest way to escape the police on this mission so once you blow yourself up you'll automatically have no stars anymore and you're safe to drive the truck cab where it is needed once you have done that you want to go back to your Kasatka somehow doesn't really matter and we're gonna start up the second setup for the second setup up, you're gonna go to your green H once again, go to prep, obviously, and then go 
to equipment and then click on safe code now you're not going to need these demolition charges because we already scoped out the drainage tunnel and that's why we actually have an extra equipment setup mission which is the cutting torch but once you start up this mission you're going to want to get to the diamond casino somehow once you get there you're going to head inside and it'll automatically take you to this parking garage you're going to want to look for the subject's car which looks actually just like this and every time i've done it it looks just like this so i'm pretty sure you won't have a different car once you pop the trunk open you want to steal whatever is inside which is actually the key card then you're going to want to head back to the elevator where you came out of and it'll bring you to the lobby for the penthouse you're going to want to just kind of walk around and try to find these guards that are guarding el rubio's penthouse once you take these guards out it says to do it silently but i didn't really read that so i just took them out and once you take them out you want to find el rubio's penthouse and head inside of it once inside here there'll be many guards here but i'm pretty sure you have an infinite amount of times you can die so don't worry about this it's pretty easy uh you just need to take these guards out or at least get to a point where you can locate the head of security which looks just like this because pavel will send you a picture and you want to find him take him out and steal whatever he has on him once you have taken what he has you want to head outside of the penthouse and then eventually outside of the diamond casino once outside of the diamond casino you need to escape the police but unfortunately blowing yourself up does not work on this setup once you have escaped the police you're gonna want to go back to your kasatka and then we're gonna do the third setup you want to go to prep and then equipment and then we're gonna do the fingerprint cloner this one is way easier than the last one so yeah once you start you're gonna want to go to this warehouse in los santos once you get there you need to take out these security cameras head inside of this warehouse and there will be three or four people there and they are pretty easy so you just want to take them out and once you take them out you head over to this laptop and then hack it and this hack is very easy also and once you've done that you want to go out of the warehouse and over to the archive which is next to the freak shop if you have that now once again you're going to want to take out these security cameras and head inside once inside you want to find the fingerprint cloner which is really just at the very end here and once you have done that it'll automatically collect it for you then you can head outside then you got to deliver the fingerprint cloner to the kasatka which is very easy and then the setup is complete this next setup can be found in the same spot in prep then equipment and then we're gonna click on the one that says cutting torch now this one's pretty easy pretty straightforward so you want to go over to this construction site inside of los santos and once you get there you're gonna want to find a way to get up to the top or sometimes it'll be different construction sites but for me it was this big tower and once you get to the top or you know whatever building you got you're gonna want to find a construction hat which you can put on and it'll basically disguise you as a construction worker now there will be guards and construction workers there they will not notice you but if you stand in front of the guards sight cone for too long then they will actually start attacking you so you're just gonna kind of do this quickly and just run the whole time once you do that you're gonna want to find the cutting torch which will be in a box or a bag that looks just like this and then deliver it to the kasatka after that is done where you're finally able to start our final setup which is pretty easy also you're gonna want to go to prep once again and then go to weapon loadout and you can choose whatever you want i chose the aggressor because it's honestly the best to me it's gonna be inside of weapon loadout and you, you basically click it click accept and then the setup has begun you're gonna want to go to this building now the roof entry is definitely a better way to go but i did not have a helicopter so i just kind of had to take these guys out near the entrance and then head inside once inside there was once again a ton of guards there but i made it through and was able to find the gun locker once i had found the gun locker i tried to open it but it was locked so i just had to hack this computer this hack is pretty easy but you basically just have to match the number with all of this sequence of numbers down below and you just need to do it kind of quickly because they are constantly moving once you do that you can open the gun locker take the guns inside and get out of there now there will be attack helicopters after you you just need to get back to the kasatka with the guns and you should be done once you head back into your kasatka we are ready to start the big final heist there is no need to panic because this is actually pretty easy if you do what i am doing you go past intel and prep and head over to final and then you'll go to the right and click start you want to go into each category and select everything we stole or did a setup of and so for the approach vehicle it's obviously the long fin because it's the only one there so the approach vehicle is the long fin the infiltration point is the main dock the compound entry point is the drainage tunnel the escape point is the airstrip which i don't think it really matters which one you click actually so just select any one of them the time of day is daytime for me and instead of starting right up what you're going to want to do is go to weapon loadout and turn on suppressors because you're definitely going to need it for this run because we're going to be taking out some people so once you select suppressors you're going to want to click continue and then we can start
up this final heist. This cutscene will play and then you're ready to start it. Now once you start, instead of going straight to the point of entry, you're going to want to go to your map and mark this area and break a hard left and just head over to that area on your map. This next part you're going to want to do it relatively quickly, so you're going to get to this little corner here, park your boat to a point where it will not get stuck on land, and you want to hop inside the water, grab your SMG or any any gun with a silencer really on it, and then you want to head over to that warehouse with big red doors again, and take out this guy as far left as possible, because if you do not, he will see you, or if you do not take him out on the left as much as possible, someone will find him. Anyway, once you get inside, you're going to steal this forklift and go and pick up this box here. You're going to raise it all the way to the top as much as you can, and then go and park it and kind of press the box up against this cage here and park it right up against the wall. Once you've done that, you're going to climb on top of the forklift and then on top of the box and then up and over this cage here. And then once you get to this cage, you can burn the lock and then you're going to steal all of this white stuff. Now, remember, the white stuff is most valuable, so hopefully you got a bunch of it, but I only got one pile. Once once you do that, you're going to want to go out of the cage, jump on this box, and hop up and over this thing. Now you will fall, but it doesn't matter because you will not die. You're going to want to go over to this cage and burn the lock once again, and then you're going to want to steal everything in there that you took a picture of. So all this green stuff, and luckily we got the green stuff because it's second to most valuable, but it's fine if you got money, it really doesn't matter. So you're going to want to take that, and then you're going to want to go over to this next pile and take as much as you can to fill up the rest of your bag. Once you do that, you're going to want to head outside of that warehouse. And and just kind of sprint back to where your boat is obviously once your loot bag is full once you do that you're going to want to mark this area on your map where that drainage tunnel was when we did the gather intel mission so you're going to want to drive over there i'll just do a time lapse of it Once you get there, you're going to want to look at your character, click left on the D-pad, and then they will equip this rebreather here, and it'll allow you to breathe underwater for a long period of time. You're going to want to head inside of this drainage tunnel here, and then click cut through the grill thingy, and once you pull your torch out, you're going to want to kind of just wave your torch up, down, back, and forth across these three or four times, and then eventually they will all break. Once you have opened that, this mini little cutscene will play, and then you can continue through this tunnel here. It's a fairly simple tunnel. It's just one area and you're gonna want to head upwards and click right on the d-pad and just kind of wait for your character to trigger this cutscene now once this cutscene is over you're going to want to follow up my exact route here so you're going to want to head up these stairs pull out your gun you want to take out this guy and then take a left here and head straight down this little walkway take another left and then take a right hop over this fence here but be careful for this guard right up here and wait for him to turn around so you can follow him all the way over to this little corner back here and then you can take him out and you want to collect that key because that will come in handy and then you want to go back out go through this little alleyway take this guy out and then head up these stairs and then as you head up there there will be a few people maybe one or two that you're going to need to take out once they come around the corner here so you're going to head up these stairs in through this door and open this safe here and you're going to take whatever's inside because this will actually give you 20 to 50 thousand then you're going to take the key card that was in there head outside and then down two flights of stairs and now as you look over this railing here you want to look at your mini map and make sure that no guards are near you because we're actually going to be jumping down there once no guards are looking you can just hop over this here and then we're going to run over here hop over this railing and then over to this door here and this is what those keys that we collected earlier were for then you head through here and over to this hack keypad thing and then you're just going to want to hack this fingerprint here now the reason we're doing this is because if you pick the other route you're gonna have to do three fingerprint hacks and it just i don't feel like doing that so i picked this route once you hack it you're gonna want to go inside and then head over to this lock which you can then burn and Pavel will send you a code to the safe here mine was 167590 so you just punch it into the save 16 75 90. Now you'll open the safe and take whatever is inside, which is the Madrazo files. Then you're going to head back out the way you came, just through here and out this door, and then back over here. Then you can hop this fence here, do a U turn, and then up these stairs. And you're, what you're going to do is watch out for this guard here, and you're going to want to book it 
Now unfortunately, he caught me, but you want to book it as fast as you can and click right on the D-pad and it will trigger this cutscene. Even if you get spotted, it won't matter as long as you trigger this cutscene before you die. Now you can take this motorcycle guy out, but a body will be found, so I just decided to go on foot because it's honestly the safest way. So you're going to go out of sight, away from all the roads and guards. Once you get to about this point, we're going to go to your map and mark this little knob on the end of the island here and just run over there. Once you get to the end here, you're going to want to hop off of the island and then you're going to want to equip your rebreather and swim as far out as possible. Again, to equip your rebreather, it is left on the D-pad. So once you have swam far enough away from the island, eventually the screen will go dark and you have completed the heist. This long, long cutscene will play and it'll say heist passed. Now, if you did all of this correctly, like I did, you will get the elite challenge, which is complete in under 15 minutes, get zero hacks failed and have full loot bags. And this will give you, I think an extra 50 K which is not much but it's definitely better than nothing now luckily if this is your first time don't be fooled i didn't clickbait the thumbnail or the intro because as you can see here once i ended i got 2.2 million dollars because of a bunch of first time bonuses because these first time bonuses will give you about 200,000 per bonus and that is where i'm going to end off the video here uh, i hope you guys enjoyed that video and let's keep trying to hit our goal of 500 subs Comment down below what you want to see next, and yeah, see ya!